After a long, grueling, and record-breaking athletics campaign, the 2022 track and field season has officially come to an end. This year was full of so much talent and so many great races that I honestly couldn't imagine a more influential season for athletics. But honestly, out of all of the incredible athletes that have helped push this sport forward that we love, Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Jamaica, the 35-year-old superstar mother, easily had one of the greatest racing seasons, not just in 2022, but in any year by any athlete. What Fraser Price managed to achieve this season is so remarkably impressive that it honestly transcends the sport itself. For her very first race, she achieved a 100 meter finishing time of 10.67 seconds, a time that's already fast enough to land her in the top 10 all time. And even though she already had a true taste of greatness with this performance, her winning ways simply never stopped. From May 7th through September 8th, she ran under 10.70 seconds, a total of seven times, an all-time record for most 10.7s in a single season. This streak brought her fame in almost every single continent in every kind of race. In Kenya, she opened her season with a sub-10.7. In Paris, she again crushed the field with a time of 10.67. In the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, she won her fifth title with the exact same time of 10.67. And then for the remainder of her Diamond League European tour, her 100 meter form was always on point. The level at which Shelly and Fraser Price has been operating this season is just downright absurd, and it makes me wonder just how fast she still has yet to run. However, out of every single race that she managed to dominate this season, her final race this season in Zurich, Switzerland, just might have been her greatest. Now, heading into this race, Price was still considered the favorite. However, for her most recent race before this final, in Brussels, Belgium, she had experienced her first 100-meter loss of 2022, placing second to Sharika Jackson with a time of 10.74. Now this time is still incredibly quick, and it would win pretty much any race throughout the history of the women's 100. However, this was really the first time that she looked vulnerable in this year's campaign. Moving forward to the actual Diamond League Finals race, with a total cash prize of $30,000 on the line, Price once again had her 100 meter game face on. And let me tell you, she executed this race with unwavering confidence. Like she typically does, Fraser Price exploded out of the blocks, and she immediately put some distance on the rest of the field. And then with superior top end speed, she hit the line first with a finishing time of 10.65 seconds. However, this race was rather significant, because unlike many of her previous 100 meter races, she ran this time into a headwind of negative 0.8 meters per second, which is quite the significant wind to run such a fast time in. In fact, if we take this 100 meter effort and apply zero wind, Price's finishing time would have been anywhere from 10.59 to 10.61. However, if we go just one step further and apply the maximum allowable wind of two meters per second, we can see a very special finishing time flash up on the screen, as this estimated result would be 10.49 seconds up to 10.51. Now, once again, we need to take these wind adjustments with a grain of salt, because there are many factors that go into a finishing time. But honestly, knowing the price ran a 10.65 with such a strong wind is still pretty stunning, and to see someone operate at such a high level for four straight months is absolutely crazy. But the most impressive part of all of this is to do all of this at 35 years of age, which challenges the very notion of aging itself. Another very unique statistic about this race is Price's 60 meter split, which was measured at 6.8 seconds. And as we previously mentioned, this 60 meter time is actually faster than the 60 meter world record, which stands at 6.92 seconds. For 2022, she managed to win her fifth world title. She only lost one race while still running a 10.74. She broke three masters world records and she set an unbelievable benchmark for speed and consistency, running under 10.7 in seven 100 meter races. Heading into this season, Price spoke briefly about her motivation to attack the world record, which of course stands at 10.49 by the great Florence Griffith Joyner. And even though she will be 36 the next time that she hits the track next season, this world record, somehow, is still a possibility for Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.